Good sweaty morning. We're so glad you're here. <laughs> we daily vlog, so if you like this video, we hope you'll come back tomorrow. It's our last day in our, well, it's our last night, full day in our apartment. And I got a second huge load in this truck already. We're Starting looking good. to rain. Major progress. Major progress. But, as you can see, it's raining. That rain is putting a damper in my mood, but we're getting there. We have our room cleared out of everything that's going in storage. Matt and Ben, Matt came back this morning and grabbed the last few things. They left, so we officially don't have any oh gosh. roommates. What? I'm in the background. This was not close. Oh. Um, and hurricane updates come every like two, I think it's every two hours, maybe it's every three hours. Um, it's looking like Dorian's gonna turn and we'll get some rain and winds, but it looks like we're not gonna get nearly as bad as they thought, but I mean, we still have a couple days to see what actually is gonna happen as it gets closer to Florida, but now it's looking like it's turning up to the Carolinas. But you never know because hurricanes can change at a moment's notice, so we're still going to stay prepared. Yeah, just as much as yesterday morning it was for sure gonna come over Florida, right. now it's not, it could switch back. Alrighty, here we go. Luckily we're just going down the road. Like a literal. Literal like half mile. Half mile. I got the car key, got the house key. See you there. See you there. Drive safe. You too. Alright, just covering up the cushions. We will have to return tomorrow with our mattress. That'll be so easy. We're just gonna put it on top. Yeah. Did you forget? I did. Here's our storage unit. It's actually like, you could have fit a lot more. I'm proud of this and your Tetris skills. 4.30. Now we have to rush home to return Brutal. our keys. <laughs> we have two spots left. Everything has a home. We have a mattress and a chair that are going to go in here. Chair is going to go right down here. Mattress is just going to get flopped on top. Rewarding ourselves. With two impossible whoppers. <laughs> well, one each. Two total. Two total, yeah. We were just about to get real hungry, so it was perfect timing. She's so pumped. We're home. This is what we're bringing to Katie's. This is all of it. This carpet needs a good vacuum in. So we didn't plan on bringing this much stuff, but that's all hurricane prep stuff. So really this is what we really planned on bringing. Um, but yeah, it shouldn't be more than one car ride over. My bones are tired. Yeah, we can stay home. No, I, I want to go relax home, even if it's for an hour or two. I just want to feel like we've been in this apartment all yesterday, all today. Even if the hurricane doesn't follow the trajectory it's going to have, we're going to probably get stuck in the house at least Tuesday. Yeah. So I'd like to go out even just for the last couple hours. Okay, where do you want to go? Uh, let's get in the car and just ride. So Sarah's been really jonesing for some Animal Kingdom. I have been. And it's, it's the last time we're gonna get to go here while living extremely close to it. We, yeah. This is the closest park to our apartment. Yeah. So we decided since we're, it's already later in the evening, we'd hop on over here, right. about a 10 minute, yeah. not even 10 minute drive. Right, and now that we aren't living in that apartment anymore. We can talk more openly about where it is. Right. So the goal is still to be like super relaxed tonight just because we did so much this morning, and then we're also going to continue to clean and be active all tomorrow. So we're just going to chill, but we did get a couple of fast passes. We're going to try to go on safari. It's cool because this park has the most rides that I can't go on. Um, and fingers crossed, everything goes well, and I will be having another transfer soon. Yes. And I won't be able to go on the rides anymore, so yes. it'll be a good ride. Good night for riding. This is one of my favorite hidden Mickeys. It's right before you go into Harambe, next to Good Eats. 
Look at this here scavenger hunt during the Lion King celebration. So we have like wooden statues around Harambe. Of all the different characters. Yeah, we just found one. Well, actually, a family saw it, pointed it out, and I was like, oh, look what they're doing. That must be a scavenger hunt. That's so fun. Well, the line was a little too long. We thought it was 20 minutes. Oh, look at this awesome photo. Three little kids taking. Oh my goodness, look at Ooh. Look at that. Can you feel the love? I think we're coming real late to the Lion King game here. I think we are. In Animal Kingdom. This is kind of loud here. But yeah, it was 45 minutes. We don't want to miss our fast pass. Forever. With how my body feels today. I literally just want to slither into this water, and slither is the appropriate adjective. Just go right there. And or add verb? Yeah. verb? Verb. Verb. Is the appropriate verb. Waterfall. It looks so serene. It looks like my body would just go, ah, be floating here looking up at the tree of life. Oh. Nothing like a girl, her iPhone, the perfect scenery to get her to check in. Facebook check-in shop. I think we mentioned that like two Wait, weeks ago. I think ago. I wanna take a picture on there real quick. Okay, we'll be right back. All right, so what I was saying is, I think we said it like two or three weeks ago, but we do have an awesome Facebook group. Check it out, just give it a little Facebook search, the Brookhart Project discussion group. Yep. Um, we check in every day what we're doing. Even if we stay home, we typically end up like checking in that we're staying home. Yeah. Just so like, if you happen to be in a park. But you can post too, like, People will post like Armando today posted. There's a Christmas countdown, 115 days until Christmas. Yeah, and we Just, like things. It's to probably check. the most active that we are in like the in response time to like comments and yeah. messages and DMs. Like that that discussion page, we're both equally in there. Whereas like Sarah pretty much takes over all Twitter and Instagram and YouTube comments. And that's only during like the, the daytime as part of her job. Whereas like the evening, we might check the Facebook. We're gonna check in. We may yeah. look at the comments. See the we love when there's like conversations going on about other of you guys between different like viewers of you guys and right. friends we've met. Or made. sometimes people just like post videos of other vloggers. Like, did you see this? Yeah. So. Check it out. It's fun. Yeah. I love it. I'm not quite sure what's going on here, but uh, we got fast passes. Hollywood. Just joking. Front row. <laughs> the Yeti's never been that close to me before my entire that life. Was that was crazy. amazing. Honestly, the backwards part is better in the front. Like, it's not as intense. Yeah. Right? But it's spooky. Perhaps the most underappreciated land in all of Walt Disney World. I've grown to love it over time. I used to hate it. You genuinely hated it? I did because of the ground. It made, it's so good at making it feel like in a parking lot. Carnival. That's the whole point. I know, but like at first I was like, but this is Disney World. Why is there a carnival parking lot here? Then I was like, you know what? It is so Disney World for it to be here. Right. It is. Yeah, and it's like something that's not based off of a character. It's just like totally, hi. <laughs> it's just totally. It's totally just fun. Right. We're going to hang out at the hip joint. If Sarah can find the, the scene, I'm thinking of an old vacation vlog from the Fat Five 207. One day, back when we used to full vlog all day on vacation, we sat here, had like water to cool off the AC, we also, and charged like, We charged, but we, we also filmed a full video about our favorite cues at Animal Kingdom. Sitting yeah. right here waiting for our batteries to charge. Yeah. We are in restaurant Saurus in Dinoland, USA in Animal Kingdom. And we thought we'd shoot a quick Top five video for you. Now we have some more batteries charged. <laughs> so we are going to talk today about the top five cues in Animal Kingdom. Oh my gosh! I don't years. think we've been there since. Been, it was we like, always sit on the other side. That was like three or four years ago. Yeah. I don't think we've ever hung out in this little booth area, and this is what we want to live in when we live on the road. It's basically yeah. this air streamer. With the jukebox. Mm, that might take up too much space. We wanted to throw out some knowledge, so. All day long today, the updates for Hurricane Dorian have been shifting the path east, away from the, the more state into of Florida. More the ocean and more further north. And I was kind of banking on us getting the Galaxy's Edge on like Monday or Tuesday with no crowds. 
um, because of the hurricane, and we came to Animal Kingdom and to our chagrin, I mean that could change on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, like but it's always changing. This park is absolutely packed with yeah. like majority annual pass holders. Yeah, we waited in a longer line for even for fast pass. Our magnets and then our fast pass. So it in the parking lot's packed. Right. It was a 45 so minute wait for see, safari. Like, we know a lot of people who live in Southern Florida who came to Disney to avoid the hurricane. And now they're like. And now they're on vacation mode. Basically. So it might not be the like when, best. Like when Irma came through, time. we had a very, very empty park attendance for like the two or three days before Irma. And even and the, day the day or two day after, after was super slow. But right now, we're looking kind of busy. That could change. Yeah. As the forecast changed. But right now. It's looking busier. Yeah. Which is good. Like I, I enjoy yeah. the at least if it's all local APs or people hiding from the hurricane, I'm glad they're enjoying their time. And any time that a hurricane spends less time on land, obviously it is gonna like still affect the coast and we're still gonna get winds and rains, but um, hopefully the path that it's taking will mean more people in safer areas. Yeah. Oh, I know. Should work it's fast. It's a blast. It's in the past. <laughs> I've never read that before. We love this Sioux replica because the real deal's in Chicago. Hello there. <laughs> Welcome to our little trans-dimensional joyride, folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. We're in. Now, here's the drill. You follow the homing signal to the iguanodon. Trust me, what could go wrong? Okay, what are you tracking? Styracosaurus. Not our Definitely not our dino. Go, go, go! Identify. Sarapod. Still not our dino, but at least this one's a vegetarian. Evasive maneuver! Left! Right! It's a bumpy ride. That was crazy bumpy. That was crazy bumpy. Yeah, I can't wait till the photo pass photo comes through. What did you do? I have to wait and see. We're at our PO box because we know we have something special that just arrived today. Well, we won't be getting it today. Due to the potential of severe weather and safety, it may be necessary to temporarily close the lobby. Makes sense. It does, but I want my fanny pack. We're home. So last night we can say this is our home. Wow. And even though the last update at eight o'clock said the storm could be switching a little bit further east, we don't know. We're busting into more of our hurricane snacks because so last night. Also, check out this sick setup. There you go, autofocus. Our bed is on the ground. Our TV's right there. We're gonna watch Hocus Pocus. And the only thing on our walls, for us and you all, is our calendar. So we're not gonna do that yet because we're not going to bed yet. But this is our current situation. We have what we need over there. Those are our clothes for the next two days. That's laundry, but I have to put it back in the dryer because it's just a little wet still. The closet's empty, 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 empty. We're ready to move. Right, Eve? Are you eating a pretzel? We are going to do this message by candlelight. I know Eve is hating on the shadows, so don't mind her growling. Be brave. Without bravery, you will never know the world as richly as it longs to be known. Without bravery, your life will remain small, for far smaller than you probably wanted your life to be. Elizabeth Gilbert. Ooh, who lit the black flame candle? All right, we're signing off for the last time in our first Florida home. Oh my goodness gracious. It's been a crazy two years, it's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Can't we've it's kind of over. like, we've discussed this like between us and family and stuff and it's hard because this is the third apartment 
that we thought we would bring a baby home to that we haven't. But I told Sarah earlier, I said, as much as I'm excited to be living just us two again with Eve, I didn't want to live anymore just us two. I wanted to live us two plus our babies. Yeah. So, so it's always hard when you think like this was like an unfulfilled promise. But we're excited yes. and we're ready and we love, our new ready and we love the new and neighborhood. The and apartment's gonna be great. It feels good, so. We're gonna have a fun two weeks with a trip to, or no, a trip to Detroit after, but a hurricane potentially. <laughs> um, just a lot of fun with the two other pups at Katie and Eddie's. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Yeah. An appointment on Monday. So that's great. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. One last time from here, our, this home to our next home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>